Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. Before we start the video though, please hit the thumbs up button. It only helps me out. Today's video, we're gonna take a look at gaming distributions that I found were the best in 2023. All right, as I said in the intro, these are games that I have actual or distributions that I've loaded and I've actually used on my hardware and I've actually played a game. Now, by no means, I'm not a professional gamer, so I can't tell you if they're achieving the best game rate and game performances whatsoever. I don't even have a quality monitor for that. But the truth of the fact is, is I was able to play games to my old fashioned sense of taste. Now, by that, I mean that I was actually able to load a game on it and play it and it looked good it ran good it didn't freeze it didn't buffer i've played games such as crisis warhammer some call of duty on there i have even played madden football on there i have played fable 2 on there you know i played a smattering of different games from more current games to, to older older games and they worked fine for me so understand these are by no means ever being you know brought to you in the sense of a professional gamer or a hardcore gamers aspect don't put me in that loop i'm not fine for that loop i'm not trying to be there i'm just saying you can put these on your on your on your boxes you can use them and you can play games decently with them and that's all i'm guaranteeing out of this all right so i don't want to get beat up in the comments for it but that's what it is so let's go ahead and take a look at the first one the first one should come as no surprise. It's one that everybody starts with and everybody knows. Some people really like it, some people don't like it. And that is Pop! OS. Pop! OS is one of those that is very, very, very well known. It is actually uh, got the Cosmic Desktop. However, it's being re rewritten in Rust and they're making new advances. They just made some updates they announced the other day on it. And really, it comes out of the box already streamlined for you to do your gaming okay i mean they've got the different auto tiling stuff that you can do all that good stuff but as far as gaming is concerned it's got the the entire like uh, the 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 proton already there the 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 game launchers lutris and all that available all that's there it's very stable it's rock solid it's made by system 76 which actually makes hardware for linux which if you go down to the bottom you'll see that you could build your own laptop or your own custom box or mini PC, whatever you want. It's all there for you. So at any, any, you know, instance, it is set up for, for that. It's got steam, Lutris and game hub will create an incredible gaming experience already there. As it says right here. Also, they do have the support for hybrid graphics and they're done well. And of course it's got dark mode and all that good stuff. So that is a look in theory at pop, not theory but in retrospect at what pop os which is the linux the i would say it's probably more the entry level for gaming people in linux now the next one is going to be your big linux now big linux i took a look at and i actually did a rival comparison of big linux to nobara and the benefits that it has for gaming and really nobara beat it and nobara nobara is by far we'll talk about it here pretty soon but nobara is one that's kind of like the standard to me but there's one that's very close to it now as far as big linux is concerned it offers a lot of it's brazilian made first off okay it is brazilian made and it looks stunning it has great support it has a great community so really you could use it very 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 confidently and know that you are going to be doing all right with it okay it is can be a regular regular good good stable disk desktop distribution for everything including web apps now as far as games is concerned it's optimized and has automations to facilitate game installation already comes with lutris and steams already installed out of the box and i they also have of, you could you could enable game scope on it and i do believe fsr you can also enable it on it as well so that'll help you with the amd cards and 
you have restore points on it that's already there so you could actually save your game states and re-resume them quite easily as well and of course they've got thousands of different programs to be used for both gaming and regular standard desktop applications so yeah big 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 linux actually is you know and and another entry level into gaming on Linux distribution that I find is very popular, has a great support community, and you could use pretty confidently and not have any issues whatsoever with what you did. Now, the next one that we're going to look at is Regatta OS. And this one is the one that I actually stuck to in my hard drive that i have that i game on it now this thing is straight up amazing this what this one is is done really 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 well it actually has it's it's real simple with their store the regatta os store to get any applications that you want but what's really cool is regatta os comes with steam already installed it's got all the game launch well so they've got their regatta os game access which is like a hub right and when you click on it it has your gog your battle net your epic games your ubisoft connect and your origin stores all in one actual application which is amazing because what it does is it allows you to access all your stuff right in there it's it whatever you have installed right there you click on it just like almost kind of like wine you click on it and all of a sudden bam it just launches into the actual application that you're actually wanting to play whether it's ubisoft origin epics or whatever it already has the launcher that launches it all and so i mean it, you don't have to worry about it it also has game scope and fsr already completely installed and enabled out of the box for you which is making it completely awesome to, to play with if you have not heard of this operating system then you need to go download it and give it a try it seriously will knock your socks off i found it in the hunt after big linux somebody actually recommended it to me i gave it a shot and to be honest with you i installed it and never looked back and that's the only gaming distribution i have installed on my system to be honest with you <laughs> And, you know, one thing I forgot to mention, as with Big Linux, this one actually comes from Brazil as well. They're serious about gaming in Brazil and some great software is coming out from down there. So, anyhow, it comes with the KD Plasma desktop environment, although I do believe you can install different desktop environments on there. But I just ran the stock one that it has. It's beautifully done. It looks gorgeous. And it's very stable. So... I w and also it's actually based on OpenSUSE. <laughs> it's an OpenSUSE based distribution. So, and all the games are already curated for it for you that you will probably ever need outside of your, you know, like your BattleNet ones or your Blizzard ones. Your, your I mean, sorry, not BattleNet, but game uh, GOG ones and Lutris ones. But it's it's a solid. It's a very solid operating system. Like I said, I use it. I have no issues with it. I'm actually able to stream content from it, which I, I actually did a game streaming on it. I mean, it is it is solidly, sincerely amazing for real. I can't tout it enough. So that being said, that is a look at Regatta OS. And then, of course, the last one is, yep, you guessed it, Nobara. Now, Nobara is Fedora-based. It is the baby creation and the very i would say the most truly forward game centric gaming distro that has been made and it was created by glory segroll himself and it is literally completely developed under the core from kernel modules to everything that is actually needing to be installed for gaming in any way shape or form from the fsr the game scope the huds all that good stuff they're all built into it and it is completely optimized for it bar none just from the actual level of development that has been put into it specifically for gaming nobara is by far the number one gaming distribution out there 
that I am aware of that has ever been told to me in any way, shape, or form. So I don't know what else to tell you. I use it for a while, but I personally find that Regatta OS visib visually appeals more to me. I think that's what makes the difference between Regatta OS being number two and number one. Arguably, I think they could both go for number one. You know, one's built on Fedora, one's built on OpenSUSE. Both of them are long time running stable distributions. So there's that. But as far as just the sheer look and the beauty of Regatta OS, to me, that one is the number one. But the sheer popularity of Nobara and also, I mean, the Tom Brady of development, Glorious Eggroll, is is work behind Nobara. So that's, you know, you gotta, you just gotta, I mean, that's the, that's the Super Bowl winner right there. I mean, in terms of, you know, football, you know, correlation, you know, Nobara, just because of, you know, glorious egg roll, you know, that's what everybody says. But, and I personally think so too, because he's done so much that, you know, and there's so much done for Nobara that it's hard to, to not, to deny that. So either way, those are the gaming distros of 2023 in my book. So you guys, Tell me what you think. Leave a comment down below. If you've used any of them, if you had issues, what they are, leave a comment as to what, what, what the issues were and what the fix was. Also, if you guys have another distro that I'm obviously not aware of, send it my way. Let me know. I welcome all that. I will tell you the same thing I tell you all the time. Y'all keep doing what you do. Keep on Linuxing. Stay safe. Stay blessed. And I'll see you in the next one.